I went, I was at the Nixon Library on Monday, and there's a wall devoted to one year, 1968. Nothing but war, assassination, communism, domestic terror, riots, crime. All that was missing was Alec Baldwin eating a sack of donuts on a bus toilet. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. The fact is, the media wants you to think 2018, a time of peace and prosperity, is worse, far worse than 68, a time of division and war. And as we call them on it, they can't handle it. Tough <laughs> own it. You had it coming. But visiting both the Nixon and Reagan libraries made me think of what a Trump library might be like. I can't wait to see it. Tired of the same old presidential libraries with their papers, boring historical records, and photos of old dumb stuff that happened before you were born like the internet? Then you're gonna love the Donald Trump Super Extreme Presidential Luxury Library. Yeah, we're not waiting until he's out of office, cause that's stupid. The Donald Trump Super Extreme Presidential Luxury Library is half luxury yacht, half supersonic jet, located inside Mount Rushmore, within the skull of George Washington. You want exhibitions? Check out our historical recreations of Trump fighting a meteor, Trump wrestling Bigfoot, and Trump fighting his evil twin Zoltar Trump on the surface of Saturn's moons. None of this happened, which is why the super extreme library is also. Plus, the water fountains aren't filled with water, but actual liberal tears squeezed from the faces of former Clinton staffers. We'll sit in Trump's chair, listen to his favorite rallies, and be waited on by people he crushed in debates, serving nothing but super well-done burgers. There's also a special hall of Trump's achievements, honoring when he cured all diseases with drugs he found on Mars, discovered cold fusion powered by TV ratings, replaced war with puppies, and made every day the 4th of July. Except for Christmas, which lasts two weeks. Mementos of the presidency include the actual pantsuit Hillary Clinton wore when she found out she lost, John Brennan's security clearance, and the entire country of Canada. It's the Donald Trump Super Extreme Presidential Luxury Library.